Thank you. We'll go right to questions for Coach McCaffrey. Brandon. Actually, let, let me make a statement real quick. Okay. I just want to uh, open up by saying uh, my thoughts and prayers are with those Iowans in Winterstown, Iowa. Uh, let them know that the uh, Hawkeye family is thinking about them and praying for them. You know, we put a lot of emphasis on wins and losses, but you know what they're going through right now is really difficult. I just want them to know what we're thinking about. Okay. Go ahead. Brent, was that a good basketball game? Well, I, I think in a lot of ways it was it was clearly a competitive one. It was hard fought. I mean, we had a lot of guys play well. Uh, there were mistakes made. Guys just kept competing, and uh, it's kind of what you come to expect in this league, quite frankly. And if the free was the phrase "defense wins championships," was that true of this game? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think you know both teams really fought defensively tonight, and, and you don't get to this point unless you defend, You're right? Coach. Tough shooting night. Um, still had a chance to, to win, though, despite all the adversity to the game. What was your message to the team in the locker room? Very positive. Uh, nothing but positive. You know, told them how proud I was of, of not only how they fought tonight, but how they fought all year long. You know, you think about it, we started working out in June, and, and here we are in March. And, and you guys all know what this league is, how hard it is to sustained effort and to execute continuously night in and night out on the road and, and uh, yeah, I'm just really proud of those guys and, and I want them to continue to compete the way that they have to love each other and, and you know, understand that, that I love them and, and appreciate everything that they've done with us this year and we got a lot a lot of hoop left hey Frank um last possession there was that the shot you guys wanted is that was that the design the design going in well I mean anytime you're in a situation like that there's multiple options you know you have to read what the defense does you know do they double team somebody how do they play ball screens how do they play away screens are they switching everything and I thought the extra pass was was big time I mean that's you just hope your guys in that situation make the right read and it gives your team a chance like we're not shooting a contested step back, fade away, three that has no chance. So that shot had a chance, it was halfway down. And so really pleased with their execution there. Now that the, the regular season is officially over going into the tournament, how you know how can you put into perspective what the team accomplished down the stretch to, to put themselves in position to be top five in the league? Yeah, you know, I think what you have to be able to do is stay the course. You know, there's going to be bumps in the road, typically. Uh, you know, we made a lineup change, and those guys, okay, coach, what are we need you to do? And that's what you always appreciate as a coach. You have guys that, that really understand how to put winning first, and that this team has done that. They kept grinding, they kept working. We continued to get better. There were a lot of young guys that needed to develop, and they did. It takes time. And, and you want to have patience, and you want to be positive, which I was. So I'm really proud of that. Fran, the other day you, you said you were kind of, you know, mad at yourself for not playing Peyton. He came in there and gave you some really good minutes in the first half. Yeah, it's, you know, it, I said this before, but it's hard to play 10, and, and he's one of 10. You know, Patrick's not here, so it gives him a little more opportunity. But that kid's a really good player. I mean, not only did he make shots, I mean, some of the feeds he made, I mean, he was, you know, in the right place. You know, you're watching a young guy trying to figure it out. I mean, they run really good stuff. They've got a lot of quickness. They've got multiple three-point shooters. They've got size. So he's making a lot of decisions out there quickly. And uh, you know, we put him in a position that he had to do that. And uh, he was exceptional. Uh, 26 rebound improvement from the first meeting. I think most impressively, Tony had double digit rebounds. What did you see from the team? Well, Tony was great. Uh, you know, 17, 12, and 5. And what a, what, a, what a great game he had. But, you know, you can't expect to come in here and get out rebounded by 29. I mean, you're going to lose by 29, like I said the other day, if you do that. It was amazing that we were as close as we were. We only gave you three offensive rebounds in the second half to give you a chance against this team. Senior night, any particular line you're not going to miss? 
I, you know, the truth of the matter is, I mean, I just got a lot of respect for those guys. I mean, we've had great games with them. You know, it's, you know, it seems like Frazier and Bohan have been going against each other for a long time. But, you know, I mean, uh, this this group, you mean Williams and Frazier, and, you know, you throw in Plummer, who's a senior, but he wasn't here the whole time. I mean, you got you got some guys that, uh, that are competitors, that are really good players on really good teams. You know, I'd be very impressed with the job that Brad has done with this group, not only this year, but over the years you know, since he got here. So, you know, I, I, I have the ultimate respect for this team, this program, uh, and, you know, obviously trying to spoil senior night, but, you know, you expect those guys to, to play pretty well, as they did. Anything else? Thank you. Steve, can you tell me who you want to talk to? Yes, uh, Keegan and Tony. 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 Tony